This extension includes a manifest file and background.html. Uh, this icon is redundant. Let's take a look at the source code. Well, background.html includes a simple, defin simple function that checks the URL address of the tab that uh, is currently displayed and checks whether the URL address includes abelsky.com or not. If it includes abelsky.com, then this code is executed and this code actually uh, turns on, makes, in, makes visible the page action. The page action we define here. And the page action, this is the icon and uh, this is a small um, tooltip uh, that will be displayed nearby the icon. Um, let's give it a try and load it. Okay, and now let's try to browse uh, a website such as abelsky.com and see if we get that page icon. Yes, here is the page action, this is the icon, and here is the tooltip. And even if I go to another um, page, I still have this uh, page action. If I browse outside, as you can see, it disappears. Here in this code line, I uh, register this function to be invoked each time something changes with the displayed tab, meaning that if the tab current suddenly displays another URL address or the user moves away of the tab to another one, each case this function will be invoked. 